Right, so this is the last purchase I made before coronavirus set in. So bear in mind, I mentioned this a lot in my videos, that I film a couple of weeks in advance, so by the time this video goes live, a lot would have changed on the whole coronavirus front. So I'm right now, I'm at Binca. I've got this uh, Audi S3 behind me, which I recently purchased. And for those that follow my channel regularly will know that this is the final part exchange vehicle that I got against my Audi RS6. Right, Bing Car, let me quickly update you lot about Bing Car. So obviously I'm here now in normal clothes and Bing was closed, right? Bing Car closed, like I say, because I filmed in a couple of weeks in advance. We closed as soon as Boris done that speech and said, you lot need to stay at home. From this evening, I must give the British people a very simple instruction. You must stay at home. We just closed Bing Car because I want to distance myself from people as much as I possibly can. I think by the time this video goes live, we'll probably be on a full lockdown where they're restricting everyone from leaving their house. I don't know, obviously I don't know, because I'm trying to look into the future, and day by day at the minute things are changing, so it's impossible for me to guess. Uh, but I'm filming videos, right? So bingo's closed, usually there'd be people everywhere here. Uh, the reception would be full of people. I'll take you for a little wander in there now. This is reception. I've got the radio on just to give me a bit of sanity. Um, customers usually in here like sat down. It's dead man, this is a horrible reality. We've got glass screens as well, I was gonna say that. We've got, we've got these glass screens, which is like a divider between the customer and our receptionist. But right now, that's irrelevant anyway. But that will become handy once we get back open because I think that'd be like a, a bit of a install a bit of confidence in people when they want to come down and buy cars from us when we eventually get back open so um i'll talk more about the whole bingo thing as the video goes on but let's talk about this s3 yeah well here we go it's 2001 uh y reg audi s3 it's done a lot of miles right i think i probably put that in the title because it's a it's an important factor let's jump on the inside and show you how many miles it's done get that out of the way first 164,000 miles right that is a lot of miles for any car, but you know what? It's actually a really nice example. <laughs> a few little bit, ain't perfect, but it is a nice example. And it's quite rare really that I get a car and I sort of think, you know what? If this was my own car, I don't think I'd do anything to it. I'd leave it as it is. Um, it's a facelift car, I think, right? Don't quote me on that because I suppose I could Google it, but I don't need to Google it when you when you film videos for YouTube because people comment and correct me in the comments. So, waste of time Googling it. I think it's a facelift car, so it would make it a 225 bhp car. The pre-facelift cars are 210. Again, this might be a pre-facelift car. I'm not up to scratch on Audi S3s right now, but like I say, people will correct me in the comments below. It's got these crystal headlights with, uh, with xenon bulbs. The 17 inch Avis, are they Avis wheels? Similar to the ones that are on the Audi S4, wherever that is, somewhere over there. Don't know where it is. Or should I say the ones that should be on the S4, it came in without the correct wheels on it. But yeah, they're a nice set of wheels, really suit the car. And as I wander around it, you'll see a few marks. It ain't perfect, but it is bloody good for a car that's done 160 odd thousand miles. At the rear, we've got a twin exit exhaust. Uh, I say twin, yeah, twin pipes at the bottom of the bumper there with like a, a grey splitter type thing or diffuser uh, through the bottom se section of the bumper there. Clear rear lights, again, I think that was part of the facelift thing. So the earlier cars, I don't know if they came on S3s, maybe just A3s, but the earlier cars were fully red. And it didn't have this clear bit in the middle, so it made it look a, a little bit more modern when they come out. Um, same as the S4, these have got the... The, the trims at the bottom of the doors here, I think they really do set the car off. I think it's got like a nice sort of presence to it. And I think when I think of an Audi S car, I think this is what springs to mind. It just looks so, so classical, so nice, so original. And it's a great value for money car. Um, they come with these satin silver wing mirrors, 
which I really like. I just, just gave them a little polish. They've cleaned up quite nice. And that's definitely a big feature of these cars. And we've got a sunroof up the top as well, which you lot know I really like. Bottom splitter there, I think that come from a say, Leon Cooper R. They definitely could do with being fitted a little bit better. But yeah, that's a nice little touch. Uh, but other than that, it's all quite standard. As we hop on, on in the inside, um, I'm pretty sure that's the newer steering wheel. Quite a modern looking steering wheel. It's got gloss black inserts on the on the dash and the doors here, and it's a six speed manual gearbox. Under the bonnet, let's quickly do that whilst we're at it. There's my niece Myers quarter there. I know she's got a private plate. M14 FHR, my affair. And there's the X6. Let's quickly talk about the X6 whilst we're at it, because I've been driving that pretty much daily at the minute. I love this car. I like this car a lot more than I thought I would. Uh, it's a proper nice thing, performs unbelievably well, and it is just it just serves a great purpose. So that was obviously one of the power exchanges that come in against the RS6. So I sold the RS6, and in return I got X6M. That is a category N car, but it's all been repaired, and it's really, really nicely done. Uh, massive spec as well, in Long Beach Blue. Um, the Audi S3, and what else did we get? A C4 Picasso, boring. Uh, a Mini, boring. Uh, and a Golf, a Mark 5 Golf 1.6 petrol plus cash my way as well, which I needed to pay wages because I don't currently have a business, got no customers, yeah? <laughs> so it all happens at the right time, but yeah, under the bonnet, sidetracked a bit there, didn't we? Let's get under the bonnet. Um, 1.8 four cylinder, assuming we're 225 brake, turbocharged engine uh, to four wheel drive Quattro. Dominantly front wheel drive and then when the front wheels give way it sends power to the rear uh, Just normal quattro stuff. I like that. It's very reassuring especially when you try and send loads of power through the wheels and Every quattro on the car market should have a quattro badge on the dash there Which this has got all right, so lovely interior. I think it's quite a modern thing for its time as well I actually owned one of these cars back in I reckon a good 10 years ago Loved it. My car was an O2 plate in the Garo blue with the multi spoke sort of off the Audi RS4 Them style wheels um, Really nice thing and it had two-tone interior, which was like What were they black and blue? I think Nice thing that was, absolutely loved that car. And I had it remapped and it standard, like I say, the 225 brake. Remapped to get about another 40 horsepower out of them. But that is the best 40 horsepower gain that you'll ever make on any car because it transforms the car. 265 brake it was, and it was a lovely thing. So I'm gonna stop banging on now. We're gonna go for my first drive ever, because I've not even driven it yet, in my new high mileage Audi S3. The roads are just there, didn't they? There's nothing, no one about, nothing going on. It's a really strange time to be alive. Because obviously in England, uh, especially where I am, I'm just outside Milton Keynes here. Uh, this is a busy area of, of England. And to see it like this, it's, it's really strange. And just to let you know that like where I'm at in life again right now, is I'm okay to be out on the roads. I'm distancing myself from people uh, as per the rules. And I am, believe me, I'm taking this all very, very seriously. I am not. I don't want to be within reach of anybody uh, that could potentially, firstly, give me the germ or give me the virus, or secondly, pass it on to me so I can pass it on to anyone else. So um, I am taking it seriously. I'm not around people other than my family who, at this stage, don't have any symptoms whatsoever. So, and I, I want to as well, like me being a business uh, owner, this is. From that point of view, it's, it's stressful. It is financially crippling. It's a horrible time, you know, when you build your business, you want to keep going and keep keep progressing. I can't do that right now. All my plans that I had for my business have now just gone to shit because I, I, all I can plan is hopefully reopening one day. Uh, that will happen, I know. When is what I don't know. Uh, but what I want to ask everyone, and I know through my videos I can never have enough of an impact on everyone, is just abide by the rules, man because the sooner we all take this seriously and as soon as we all switch off from con contacting or having any connection with people, the quicker we can all get back to normal and get back on with our lives. So um, yeah, strange time, but do you know what? It is what it is and I know a lot of good stuff will come out of this. I've come from nothing, so for me, getting thrown in the deep end, I'm okay with that. I'm, I'm pretty good at dealing with shit, but it's just, um, it ain't nice. It ain't planned, it ain't what we want, and I know it's gonna create a lot of um, negative, a lot of suffering, but like I said earlier, 
a lot of positive will come out of it. I know that's very hard to see right now. Uh, and this video was meant to be all about the Audi S3, but I do want to update you on my thoughts and my circumstances right now. Uh, but yeah, a lot of good will definitely, definitely come out of this. I promise you all that. And me included, I'm looking forward to getting the out, seeing the outcome and seeing what our new futures, because we're all going to have a new future now. Our planned future is not going to exist anymore, but our new future will exist. And I'm looking forward to seeing what that's got to bring. What I've been doing right now is I've been making the most of my time. I'm filming videos, editing when I can. I've um, got a lot of time on my hands, which is strange for me. I've been on it non-stop since the day I left school. I'm 32 years old now, and it's quite nice in a strange way to have the pressures sort of taken off me, although there's lots of other pressures on me at the minute. Um, as you can probably imagine, there are other pressures that have been lifted from me, which is quite nice. I've bought a, um, like a, a racing simulator for home, and it's something that I've always wanted to do, but I've never had time to do it. I've always wanted to get on a racing simulator, do a bit of drifting, have a bit of me time, and now I'm able to do that. At this stage of filming this video, I've um, not actually set it up, but I know by the time this video goes live, I would have set it up and I would have been using it, so. be good I'm looking forward to that so yeah just make use of your time plan your future plan get get some ideas in your head and, and make plans to do them ideas learn a bloody language learn editing video editing that's something you can do right now yeah just use your time because time is so valuable and you've got a great opportunity to maximize that value right now all right so yeah Audi S3 anyway like I said earlier I had one of these a long time ago and I do want to um, this video has partly been about <laughs> me and my situation which I've I know is important to you lot and but secondly like I said I want to I want to film videos about cars because I love cars yeah and something else I want to say is although right now do you know I reckon this car's definitely been remapped because it's pulling really well and it's got a nice nice mid-range pull there this is a hundred percent been remapped I don't have any paperwork to prove it but yeah, I don't remember him pulling as well as this does. So, um, yeah, one thing, although coronavirus, this, this, this drama with all this stuff that's going on at the minute, it's taken my business out of action. But one thing it hasn't done is, I'm a car trader, right? And I've got a great ability to trade in cars. And I've also got a, a massive passion for cars. And it hasn't taken that away from me. I'll still have that regardless. Once this is all blown over, me, Calvin, the guy with that car trading mentality or that, that tool in my head, I can still do that and I'll do it again and it won't stop me from moving forward. And I think you lot should all remind yourselves of that. Whatever your abilities are, whatever your qualities are, really remind yourself of your qualities because right now is a great time to do that. Because when you come out of this, you're gonna use them qualities to your advantage, all right? So definitely, definitely focus on the positives, highlight the positives and look to move forward as and when. Obviously we don't know when it will be, but don't let that stress you out too much, it's gonna happen very soon. So, yeah, I'm filming videos, one, to deliver entertainment for you lot, but two, sanity for me. I wanna do stuff. So yeah, I'm making use of my time, and now I'm gonna continue talking about the Audi S3. So this is the first generation of Audi S3, and back when these cars come out, I remember I would have given anything to have owned one, right? They didn't do an RS3 at the time, so this was like the top of the range um, Audi A3, and second to that is the Audi A3 just landed. There was no such thing as an Audi A3. Um, it come to the market, there wasn't anything in the Audi range that was a small hatchback, I don't think. But the A3 was the new thing anyway. And when they announced the Audi S3, I remember thinking, that is such a cool car, a German four-wheel drive sports hatch with over 200 brake. And nice power delivery, even from standard, they deliver power really nice. Amazing little car, great little thing. And yeah, I've always been a big fan of them. I think they're too cheap. And a lot of people are thinking, well, Cameron, you've just bought a car and you're not selling cars. I bought this car because um, it, part, it formed part of the deal on the RS6, right? And I'm not actively buying cars now. Again, my business, the car buying shop, is a business that buys cars. We've shut down our shops because we're not buying cars at the minute. But again, it will all come back round 
uh, at some point, very soon I'm sure, and we'll get back on it. And going back to my passion, what I love, I've always loved low budget sports cars, and there'll always be a demand for low budget sports cars. When everyone comes out of this, um, people will have money, people will work hard and want things. You know, there's lots of petrol heads like, like myself, like, like you lot watching this, that love cars, that want to own certain types of cars, and this is quite a safe thing to buy at any stage of time. It is a high mileage car, of course, but it'll be bottom of the market and there'll always be an element of demand for it. So I'm not concerned from that point of view. It's quite nice the roads being empty because you can have speed cameras. We have a speed camera. Obviously, um, you could, if you're in within the speed limit, they won't bother you anyway. But if you are speeding, which I don't recommend, careful with speed cameras but yeah it's a, it's a nice time from that point of view I think a lot of people are gonna come out of this with gratitude with um, appreciation for a lot of things um, when I start seeing toilet roll on shelves after all this I'm gonna be a very happy man because I ain't bought no toilet roll for bloody weeks now <laughs> and it's a strange thing really wanting toilet roll in my house don't worry I am wiping my ass I'm just using like a box of Kleenex instead of uh, your average roll of, roll of toilet roll so yeah I've kind of gone off track this whole video, and I coronavirus is very much the, the main thing on my mind at the minute, as it is probably a lot of you lot. But this old 2001 Audi S3, once things come back around, it will go up for sale, and my business will continue where it left off. But I wanted to introduce you to it because it was the final part exchange on my Audi RS6, and you know what? I'm really happy with it. I ain't had one of these in stock for ages. I love the way they look. I love what they offer for a small budget, and they're tunable and. They're a bit of a classic on top of all of that. It doesn't scare me that it's done over 160,000 miles because it feels good. Some high mileage cars feel like they're gonna fall apart and they've got no life left in them, but this doesn't feel bad at all. So I'm quite confident that this car is gonna be absolutely fine, but loads of power, loads of excitement, four wheel drive. It's a lovely day today as well. Throw that in there before I go nice to see a bit of sunshine here in England and you know what the future will be good man we've got summer ahead of us get this bloody horrible time out of the way and we can all crack on and enjoy our lives I'm gonna end it here um, I'm going the right way I rarely turn around and come back this way yes I am but thanks for supporting my videos guys because right now this is all I've got going on it's giving me sanity like I said it's keep, keeping me busy and I'm really enjoying it I can at this time in my life still go to bin car film cars and I'll do that as much as I can I apologize if I banged on a lot about my own life in this video I just felt like I really wanted to update you as best as I can whilst I've got the opportunity to all right so if you've got any questions about me or my, my circumstances or any questions that I can help you with feel free to fire me comments in the comment section below and um, yeah thank you very much for watching if you're on Instagram give me a follow on Instagram at Calvin's Car Diary to sort of see what I'm up to daily and if you're new to my channel hit subscribe because I really want to hit that 100k mark that's going to be one of my goals uh, for current times also hit the like button because uh, you know that does me a massive favor and I just want to remind you to make good of your time be positive make good of your time Learn a language, learn a musical instrument, I don't know, just, just learn stuff. You can do that from your phone, from a computer screen, do that in your own time from home. And I think you'll come out the other end with a different mindset, one way or another, with a positive spin on your own life, all right? So, yeah, thank you, hit like, and <laughs> I'll stop banging on, see you later. In the next episode of Diary of Car Trader, I filmed a video just explaining to you lot how coronavirus has affected my business. That'll be live on Sunday at six o'clock.